Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Mack with another shared reading today. This story is one of my favourites because it reminds me of a family that I know really well. Can you guess which family that might be? You're right, it's my family. In this story, the family does everything fast. They walk fast, shop fast, and even eat fast until the little girl in the story brings home an animal and everything changes. Let's see what happens. Now, when we read this story today, I'm not going to show you the front cover or tell you the title because that will be part of another lesson later this week. But this story was written by Margaret Wilde and Vivian Tu and published by Alan and Unwin. Amy's family was the speediest family in the world. They walked fast, drove fast, shopped fast, ate fast. There was never any time to talk or play or laugh and laze. Until the afternoon Amy brought a sloth home to stay. Where on earth did you find him? Dad asked. Hanging from a tree in the park, Amy said, plucking one beetle and two moths from his fur. Mum shuddered. Oh, he needs a bath, she said. Sloth shook his head very, very slowly. Because sloths do everything slowly. Quick smart, said Mum. I have to warn you, sloth, Amy whispered. We are the fastest family in the entire world. Sloth had a long, leisurely bath with lots of bubbles, a purple duck and a red boat. He dried himself slowly, combed his fur slowly, admired himself for ages in the mirror, then crawled down the stairs for dinner. Amy, Mum and Dad were already sitting at the table. Quick sticks, old chap, said Dad. Chop, chop, said Mum. See what I mean, sloth, Amy said with a sigh. Sloth ate very, very slowly. He was so slow that Amy had plenty of time to talk about the things that happened that had happened that day. How amazing, said Mum. I wish I'd been there, said Dad. When Sloth had finished helping very slowly to do the dishes, Dad said, just enough time for a quick trot around the block before bedtime. But Sloth couldn't trot. He dragged himself along very, very slowly. So slowly that Amy and Mum and Dad had plenty of time to chat with the neighbours. Pat a cat, throw a stick for a friendly dog, admire the moon and try to find the red star. When they got home, Sloth made himself comfortable, hanging from a tree in the garden. Amy hugged him goodnight. Thank you, she whispered. This is, has been the best day of my life. Sloth stayed for three glorious weeks. But one morning, Sloth moved next door to the new speediest family in the world. I'll miss him, Dad said. He's such a restful little fellow. He'll hate it there, 
Mum said. That family's always in such a rush. They walk fast, drive fast, shop fast, eat fast. Oh, sloth will change all that, Amy said. And he did. Very, very slowly.